Afternoon guys, welcome. So this is a bit of a follow on clip from the last clip that I did on live baiting for Barra and the outfit that I run. So I said that I talked to you a little bit about some of the terminal tackle that I, I use. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about some rigs as well and also um, leader preference. And then at the end, I'll get to you why we use monofilament in this case. So firstly, what I'll do is I'll run you through the rigs that I run. So the first rig I run is your standard dropper rig, same as what you'll use, or Paternoster as they call it, the offshore guys, exactly the same rig. Radio. So you run a dropper loop, here's one I prepared earlier. So you run a dropper loop, you know, approximately six, six inches long, doesn't need to really worry too much, as long as that bait can sort of swing around and do its thing and not tangle up. Then down to the bottom, okay, I haven't got a sinker on me, but sinker straight on the end of your line, and there's a simple thumb knot, okay? Nice and simple, thumb knot. Righto, and just imagine there's a sinker there. Now the sinker I like to run is a number seven ball sinker. Okay, it's dependent on obviously the tidal flow that you have in your location, but I find where I am in the areas that I fish, the number seven seems to be the best, best sinker that I can use. The second rig I wanna show you is just a simple rig that we use um, when we were kids. Basically the, uh, the simple running ball rig. Okay, so it just consists of a hook and just a ball sinker. Okay, so what I do is I fit my hook to the bottom and your sinker there. So obviously sinker goes on first, put him down, whack your hook on. And what I like to do, I don't use swivels or anything like that. I like to tie a double granny knot in the top. And what that'll do is that'll stop your sinker moving up and down onto your hook because you want your bait free flowing in the current. Okay, I like to run a maximum of 80 pound litre, okay? I'll talk you through that as to why I don't run any more than 80, um, but I have successfully run 50 to, to 80 pound, okay, for barrow while live baiting. Now the reason being is that I run what we call a Carly hook, or we also refer to them as wide gape hooks or banana hooks, okay? So all they are effectively is a circle hook. We all know what the tuna circle hooks look like. Um, these guys are just a little bit different, okay? They have a wider gape, um, shaped a bit funny like a banana, uh, which is why they're referred to as banana hooks, okay? But they act in exactly the same way as what a circle hook does. Rightio, so in saying what I said before about your leader, the reason why you don't need to go to a heavy, heavy leader, like 100 pound or anything like that, is because 95% of the time, you'll get a corner of the mouth hookup with Barra on these hooks, okay? And that brings me to the point as to why we use mono, okay? When I set my rods, um, which is what I've learned from Ryan, is when I set my rods, okay, I set them nice and taut, I set them to one third of the breaking straight of the mono, okay, and I'll let the barra hit the bait and you'll see it through the rod it'll hit the subsurface buff the bait it'll bend over and then he'll turn and, and run away with the bait okay and what it does is it hits the back of his throat when it hits the back of his throat and he turns and you'll see it through your rod tip I like to give the reel a couple of cranks and what that does is just winds up that mono because we all know mono has more stretch than braid okay and becomes like a big elastic band effect and what it does is it, it goes like that stretches and then Obviously it comes to a point where it's got to, got to spring back and that brings the hook out of his mouth into the side of his jaw. And you'll always get a hook up in behind his jaw bone there. Perfect hook up every time. And then you're on for young and old, honestly. Hooks are great, hook up rate is perfect. And um, very seldomly do you lose any fish to using monofilament and the Carly hook in a live baiting situation. So there you have it guys, that's the reason why we use mono for live baiting, okay? That's the big secret behind it. Um, by all means, if you do want to run braid, run braid. I've never done it because of, I've been taught to use mono, but particularly in real snaggy structure and that, braid might be more your go. So anyway, guys, that's what I do. That's the secret behind it. Um, go out, hopefully this year you get amongst some more chasing barras on big liveys. Take care, guys.